This tiny heart is about to beat for the very first time. In this moment, a cluster of developing cells begins a rhythmic pulse that will last a lifetime. But why now? What triggers the heart to start beating at this precise moment? And how do all the cells start to contract in synchrony? For each heart, there's only one chance to catch that very first beat. So scientists have been using microscopes, fluorescent proteins, arrays of zebrafish embryos, and a lot of patience to explore this pivotal moment. These are zebrafish embryos, each less than one millimeter long. Their hearts start beating only 20 hours after fertilization, well before the growing organism actually needs its heart functions. To visualize the heartbeats, the researchers used fluorescent proteins, which glow in response to their surroundings. Here, the pink fluorescent proteins represent a voltage spike, which causes a spike of calcium ions, seen here in green, and it's this calcium spike which causes the cells to contract. In the adult fish, the beating of the heart is controlled by a pacemaker region, a group of cells which control the speed of contractions in the rest of the organ. But for the first heartbeats, the researchers found no clear pacemakers. Different embryos had different cells that started beating first, and they triggered the cells around them in a wave-like pattern. In this experiment, the cells in the bottom left of this image start the pulse, which travels across the heart. But when researchers silenced those cells, this region of cells takes over as the starting point of each pulse. So what starts the process? What kicks off the chain reaction? The answer is perhaps nothing in particular. It seems that as the cells mature in the developing embryo, they grow gradually more and more sensitive to electrical signals. After a while, they become so sensitive to natural electrical noise in the tissue around them that some of the cells start activating at random. This activates the cells next to them and the ones next to those and so on until a pulse spreads across the heart for the first time. Gradually, eventually, a steady rhythm is established. The team think that this is how those very first heartbeats originate in quite a haphazard way, very different to the tightly controlled rhythm of the adult heart. Understanding this key point in development could help researchers study what goes wrong in embryos with congenital heart conditions. Or it could be useful for engineering stem cells that can be implanted into a damaged heart and which need to sync up with the rhythm of the patient's own heart tissues. The heart works continuously during its lifetime, through adrenaline rushes and exhaustion until our final moments. But it couldn't happen without that very first heartbeat. <laughs>